guys, welcome back to Calico Cow Acres. I'm Michaela, and I'm glad you're here. We are getting a late start to the night. It's like 7.30 already. I am out here on our pasture, which is very overgrown with Bradford pear trees and blackberry bushes. I'm picking a bunch of berries. I've been picking them for a little bit already. I'm trying to wrap up this picking because they're definitely on their way out. They've been producing for like three weeks now and they need to get picked because I would like to get enough of them to be able to make some pie filling. And I figured I should probably get it done. <laughs> As you can see, <clears throat> there's a lot and I can't reach most of them. I'm gonna get what I can reach. Past month or so we've had so many people visiting us and we've been really enjoying our time with friends and family but it's meant that we've kind of not really had a chance to work on our chicken coop at all and we're quickly realizing that these birds are going to outgrow those pools very quickly and in fact they already are so we decided that we are gonna make another chicken tractor like we did for our cats and <laughs> We are going to put the chicks in it because the ducks are perfectly fine in their big pool for now. So this will be useful later on as well when we have them out and we want to bring them into the garden in designated areas. We'll be able to use both chicken tractors and let them clear out garden beds for us but not escape and go into our road because we do kind of live on a busy area. We want them to have a more protected area before we put them outside because Ricky will kill them all within minutes if we put him out if we put them out there with just chicken wire. So that's why we're not putting them in like a more permanent outdoor chicken tractor as of right now. They're staying in the basement until we can finish their coop. Hopefully that will be very soon because taking them in and out every day is very exhausting and very time consuming. I hear the birds chirping really loud, which means they probably escaped. Let's go see. Oh my goodness. Ladies. What are you doing? Come here, Petunia. Come here. Ma'am, you don't belong out here. Two hours later. I honestly can't believe that it's already time to start fall seeds. It's kind of insane to think about how fast time is flying right now. It's, to me, it feels like the last month and a half or so has been in like three times speed, like fast forward, time's flying. But yes, like I said, it's time to start seeds. And our basement, is an absolute disaster zone. <laughs> so my job tonight, it was supposed to be last night's job, but I was picking berries until it was almost dark. And then I had to give the ducks a bath. My project tonight is to clean this. And that basically means using the shop vac on everything because there's spiders all over it. And let me show you why. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to capture this on camera well. If you look in this crack along here, you will be able to see light, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. So, it's not sealed very well, 
And there's also a chunk of door missing down there. Which is very, very inviting for spiders, apparently. They're everywhere and they're massive. They're like the really skinny ones, so they're not like too gross, but they're everywhere. I respect spiders. I absolutely despise them at the same time. I know that they're good for the environment and whatnot, but <sighs> walking into and touching spider webs is one of my least favorite things on the planet. I can't, I can't handle it. It freaks me out so much. I do not like it. <laughs> so I am wearing full spider-proof attire today <laughs> um, in hopes that they don't get all over me. I even brought some gloves. <laughs> So yeah, I'm basically just vacuuming tonight because we need to get organized. I need to make space for the new chicken tractor to go down here and for this to leave. While I worked on a lot of random projects this week, Taylor's main project was getting this new chicken tractor done. It took him three days to finish it, well, three evenings, and it is working very, very well for our chicks now. They have so much more space and they are really enjoying their roosts. All right, so it's slightly less chaotic in here. I would I would not say it's clean, but it is a little bit more organized. Um, and I have space to organize my seeds now, which is really like the big thing I need to do for our fall garden. I ordered some that I knew I needed, but I just, I need to see what else we have because everything has been absolute chaos down here since I planted in the spring. So I have space to do that. That's gonna happen another night, but now I'm gonna just come vacuum these cracks really good and hopefully Taylor can seal that up a little bit this week with some spray foam and stuff because they rebuild their giant webs just like so fast. You walk into them no matter where you walk down here, even if you came down here like an hour ago. In most spots down here you can't see the spider webs but I'm gonna try and show you this one spot that has like a bunch of sawdust in it see if you can see what I'm working with here oh yeah you can see it this is what the entire ceiling looks like down here <laughs> it's so gross so yeah no thank you I'm gonna bring the birds back in now okay I just talked to Taylor and he is not going to be able to finish their tractor tonight. So I am going to get this pool back inside because they're going to have to be in it one more night and get them inside because they've been hanging out outside for quite a while. Do you guys like it out here? You ready to go in? Oh my goodness! Good job, Pebbles. Please don't escape. <laughs> Got one bill up there. Oh, they're still a little panicked because I picked them all up. Tonight's project is harvesting edamame. I'm not quite sure how much of it's ready. I think some of it, but not all of it. So I just grabbed a big basket just in case. I'm watering the garden right now. As you can tell, <laughs> I always get myself sprinkled on accident. And Taylor is finishing up the chicken tractor. You can see we had some deer in here munching on these, but honestly, they haven't really done a ton of damage. It's really only like a few plants that they got. And they only got the tops of those. They didn't even get the fruit, so not too bad. When I saw that they did that initially, I sprinkled a bunch of cayenne powder around them and <laughs> I think that that actually worked to deter them the rest of the way, which is pretty cool. I need to reapply it to like the rest of our stuff because I saw the mama and baby, I saw the mama 
and the baby recently, like a couple days ago, and I don't want them to come back and snack again. snacks for their little bath time and then I'm gonna go work on getting their pool their new um, their new enclosure set up need to pick me some snacks too it's a little over overcooked Still look good. All right, I need to document this too because this is kind of special. I've never really grown slicer tomatoes before. Um, I've only ever really grown cherry tomatoes because I've had small space. I am pretty excited because the first ones are just about ripe and we're supposed to get a storm tomorrow, so I do think I'm going to pick at least the one of them. It's pretty ripe. Look at that beauty. I picked it now because it's pretty blushed and I don't want it to split tomorrow. And I'm just nervous. It's the first one, so I want to make sure I can actually harvest it. We have a couple more that are starting to blush finally. We have some that have blight. <laughs> really badly and this one's starting to blush too I might pick this one tomorrow before it rains if it gets any more blush on it but I had to pick this one tonight <laughs> we're starting to get some blushing aromas as well honestly we had quite a few bad spot to sit <laughs> it feels nice though Oh, that was a surprise. Um, what was I saying? We actually already had some blushing romas and they were almost ripe, but they had blossom end rot because we've gotten so much rain and because I have to water overhead this year because our water situation just isn't set up to like what we want it to be for financial reasons um, and honestly time too. We want to do drip line eventually, but we just have so much going on. <laughs> Like, um, so much to pay for and so much to do. So much on our to-do list that it's just not feasible right now. So I applied foliar feed in the form of like CalMag. The ones that are starting to blush now aren't looking like they're having blossom end rot. So I'm really hoping that, fingers crossed, the CalMag worked. And that first set of them was just kind of like before, it was like before I could soak up all that calcium. Back to bird snacks.
We need to pause just to look at this. Do you see how pretty this thing is? It's massive. This is, I have really big hands and this is my hand for scale. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Sit on your roots. Oh, it's kind of rolly. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Well, she's not about it. <laughs> really hot outside and I am waiting for something to load for work and it's been loading for a little bit so while I wait for that I decided I am going to work on preserving my edamame that I harvested yesterday. So this week was like Amazon Prime Day and I have been really wanting to get a vacuum sealer because we have a lot of stuff that I plan on freezing in like our new big freezer that we got. So I asked for recommendations and I actually like wrote them down for next time when I have more money <laughs> because some of them are kind of expensive. But I, I did end up just getting the cheapest one I could find. It was literally $23. And I've never used a vacuum sealer before. So we're gonna try that out. I have no clue how to use it, but I assume it's not that difficult. Um, but it's just this cheap little one. And I'm sure it'll do the trick at least for a little while. I figured this would be a pretty easy thing to like try out with it first since it's not like wet and it's not gonna like splute out everywhere. It seems pretty easy to use. It's literally just like you close it, lock it into place on both sides and then like hit the seal button. It's not plugged in yet. You guys can't hear me very well for this part i'm sorry ricky broke my microphone like the dead cat thing that goes on top of it and the dishwasher's running and we also have another window unit ac in here so it's very loud in here so i apologize if it's hard to hear me okay while we're waiting for the water to heat up i figured i'd show you what my plan is for the whole vacuum bag part so i got this like multi sized roll thing of this. It's 8 inches by 100, 
8 inches by 100 feet and 11 inches by 100 feet. So you just like fold this over and here's your 11 inch roll and here's your 8 inch roll and you just kind of like slide them out and then you glide this guy across to slice them. So you do have to seal both ends, which I don't think that's a big deal. That's what I'm testing out right now. I'm sealing one end. I'm going to do like 8 inch bags because I don't want huge packets of these. I'm gonna just try one though to make sure that's the actual size I wanna do and adjust from there. like appetizer sized pa packages of edamame and I'm gonna go toss it in the freezer now. I need to actually like pull all of the dewberries that we harvested out and they're just in like normal freezer bag. I need to get them into these kinds of bags because I think this is gonna be way better than just me trying to suck the air out of them with a straw. It worked okay, but it didn't work amazing like this. <laughs> On Thursday night, my dad arrived from his 12-hour drive from Michigan to visit us for the weekend, so we kind of just spent the rest of the weekend hanging out with him, showing him around our new home, and basically just lounging and enjoying time together. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.